Yeah, Miko's making a return very, very soon in Genshin Impact 3.2. In fact, going to be in the next banners alongside Tertaglia. Which I'll make another video about. For now, I wanted to talk about Yaimiko specifically. Alright, in the past, I made a little bit of a Yaimiko, you know, showcase, whatever. Where basically, I took Yaimiko and I put her to the test. Now, I want to put her to the test one more time. Except, now we have Dendro. Um, there are new ways to make, you know, Yaimiko teams now. And there are so many other ways to build Yaimiko. You can now build her for Elemental Mastery without sacrificing, you know attack or crit or whatever it was because now your amount of mastery actually is very important to the role that you want the amount of mastery to build on your team right with nahida main character with dendro or with i don't know kole or maybe even you know tenari you can actually make Yaimiko so much more effective using Elemental Mastery. So it kind of changes a lot of things on teams. Personally, I still like Yaimiko how she is. I like how I built her. I don't really want to go along and make a whole nother build just for Yaimiko that I already built, right? So currently, so currently my Yaimiko looks like this. This is her artifacts. I already built it. I don't want to really change it that much because this is the... Yaimiko that I'm used to, and this is the Yaimiko that I wanted to use. Now it is effective to build Yaimiko upon Elemental Mastery because one of her talents is that the more Elemental Mastery you have, the stronger your E skill ability is going to get. How much you want, it, there is no specific amount, but once you get enough Elemental Mastery, you're going to get a pretty nice bonus. Not to mention, Elemental Mastery is going to affect your Aggravate, your Quicken, whatever Dendro reaction you had. Now it's going to be super effective. Okay, so this is the team we're going to be running. Nahida, Kaiharakaza, Yaimiko, as well as Kuki Shinobu. So the way this team is going to work, our Yaimiko is actually going to be the sub DPS and Nahida is going to be the driver. So even though Nahida sort of does the support, but she's going to be on field trying to apply as much tender as possible uh, after Yaimiko does her little turret stuff. So hopefully that works well. And let's just get into it. Kaiharakaza is just going to help hopefully, hopefully just to uh, reduce some resistance and, you know, improve some strength. All right, here we go. Shouldn't be too bad. Yamiko is pretty simple to use. I don't think anyone's going to have any trouble using Yamiko. And yeah, this is, this is basically how, you know, the team kind of works. She, she does damage. She helps do more damage. And that's pretty much it. And once you just need to, you know, use your ult, you just, you know, pop it. And I actually kind of mistimed it there. But yeah, I mean, you don't really miss it. It's super easy to use. It's a kind of a fun team to use too. And there's a lot of, you know, intricacies with most other teams and stuff. But with this Yaimika team, it's really simple. So that was her during like mini boss fight right there. But is she effective in any other type of thing? Yes. She is. She's great. She's fantastic. Um, she's improved so much with this new Dendro patch, and it really just made this character come to life once again. So, would I personally recommend you guys to summon for Yaimiko? I would say summon if you like her. <laughs> As most other characters come in, the, you know, come and go in the game. If you like them, get them. They're going to be as good as the other character that's going to be coming up. Personally, I really like Yaimiko. I like her you know, skills, her playstyle, whatever it was. And her burst does a lot of damage. This is probably my favorite part. Just using her burst does so much damage. And it's just really nice to look at it. And well, you know, she's, she's Yaimiko. All right, we're sort of back at the shrine. But so you're going to ask, what if I don't want to build her with Amulet of Sever Fate? What if I want to use the Amulet of Mastery set? Sure, I would actually say do it. Because you can in fact get a lot of bonus through this Gilded Dream set. You can get the amount of mastery, you can get increased amount of mastery, you can get an attack bonus. There is a whole paragraph here if you guys want to read it. This is not a bad choice for Yaimiko, but if you want straight up damage, straight up the amount that you need, you can build her how I built her, but of course, increase the energy recharge because mine kind of sucks. You want to give her the electro set, you know, for the you know increase in electro damage bonus, as well as the four piece increases your reaction damage which is going to be potentially really good, especially if you're going to be using your Dendro teams, right? Or if you don't want any of that, you just want, you know, damage, and then just go with the Thunder Soother set. The four piece will give you an increase of Electro, um, depending if your opponent has Electro affected on them. So that is going to be, you know, all the ways that you could potentially build her 
You could also go with the two piece, two piece of anything like attack percentage with this. Uh, you'll get a two piece of 18% through this set or the gladiator set or whatever other set that you may want to use. You could use those and you can pair it with something with a nomad mastery one. Or you can or you can pair it with the Thundering Fury set. So you can get a 15% damage bonus. There's so many ways to build her. There's no correct way to build her because there are so many potential ways. At the end of the day, you just want to have fun with your Yamiko. So build her the way you like her. And have fun with her. She's going to be amazing anyways. She's going to be super good on any team that you want to put her. Alright, so for the sake of the video, I gave her a very makeshift four piece of Gilda Dream set. Just to show off how she could potentially use Elemental Mastery to her benefit and how she could actually be useful. Now, the artifact set obviously gives you some bonus Elemental Mastery, so we're going to see an increase in that and fluctuation in that, obviously. Uh, we'll get a little bit of attack bonus. All right, this time we're going to be facing a different boss because you know, we want to change it up a little, right? But it's pretty much going to work the same, do the same exact things. Um, I think we got a bonus in. Electro damage? Yeah, we got an electro damage bonus from our weapon. So that's going to be the, you know, the factor there. But yeah, as we can see, we keep, we're, we're already hitting pre pretty nasty numbers. We do some more of these. And we can already see the, uh, the little damage that's going on here. Thanks to Yaimiko. Uh, 15k. I, th I think that's pretty good. We can obviously use the ultimate here. We can increase the damage. Oh, uh, yeah. But all in all, I think she's a fantastic character. Need I say more? <laughs> but yeah, that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about Yamiko. Are you going to be summoning for her? Are you skipping? Are you going to be summoning for Tartag? Yeah. Let me know in the comment section down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.